Once again, today we got another big teaser for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This time, it's a map. It what appears to be WMD from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Now, if you didn't play Black Ops 1, this is honestly one of my favorite maps in the game, so I'm actually pretty damn excited to see this come to the game. But in fact, that is not the only teaser that we've got in the past 24 hours. We've actually got two other teasers. The first of which, late last night, Treyarch changed their profile image to the this, which we're going to talk about throughout the video. And then today, they changed their profile image to this, what appears to be a werewolf from the map Dead of the Night. And we're going to talk about both of those, but I thought we would start with what we began with, this one right here. Now, before we dive into WMD, I just wanted to let you guys know that actually I've been looking at my analytics and it seems that like with the most recent videos, the updates revolving around Black Ops 4's next operation, Strike from the Shadows, it appears as though only 25% of the people watching these videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying these videos, you like the kind of thing I do over here, the best way to stay up to date on all my videos is make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you have notifications turned on, and we got a lot of these type of videos coming up in the next little while, because we're still going to get more information about Operation 4 for Black Ops 4, and on top of that, I'm assuming very soon we're going to get some pretty big teasers for Modern Warfare 4. So to stay up to date on that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you have notifications turned on, but anyway, let me shut up, let's talk about WMD. So this is WMD. This is a map that came out first in Black Ops 1, and like I said, was honestly one of my favorite maps in the entire game. Now, as far as WMD goes, it's interesting because yesterday's teaser showed us three images on a laptop, and what we assumed is that each of those three images was from each of the three new maps that we know are coming to Black Ops 4 this Tuesday. We know that during this event, during April, we are getting three new multiplayer maps, and I kind of went through WMD on Black Ops 1 and looked for any areas where any of these images would match. And truth be told, there is no area that matches the images on the laptop from yesterday's teaser. Which makes things a little bit difficult because we know that they announced that they are adding three additional maps in April. They didn't say they were going to be new maps, they didn't say they were not going to be remakes, and we don't know whether or not WMD that is going to be coming out, I'm assumably on Tuesday, is going to be free for everyone, or whether it's going to be a Black Ops Pass. Keep in mind, from what we are seeing here, this map isn't reimagined, it's not changed, it's just remastered. In other words, the graphics on it are simply just a little bit better. Keep in mind mind on Treyarch's post on Reddit, the way that they worded it is they said three additional multiplayer maps launching with our next operation later this month for Black Ops Pass holders. So all three maps are only for Black Ops Pass holders. So the only way that this map would actually be free is if it's actually a fourth map. And why wouldn't they advertise that? I don't know. So I'm guessing that this is going to be for Black Ops Pass holders only, which... I think is going to make a lot of people mad. It doesn't make me mad because I'm getting a lack of content. It makes me mad because I love WMD, and this is a map that I would like to play a lot of, and if it's only in the Black Ops Pass, I'm simply not going to get to play it as much. Now, the other thing is some people are saying that this would be false advertising if they released this as one of the Black Ops Pass maps, but if you go to the actual stuff that they released revolving around the Black Ops Pass, nowhere does it say that the maps that they are launching are new maps. It just says that you are going 12 multiplayer maps with the Black Ops Pass, not new multiplayer maps. So we'll have to wait and see. There's no point in getting angry at this point until we find out for sure what exactly is happening with this. And I mean, we're going to figure it out on Tuesday, so it's not that far off. Next teaser, pretty straightforward, I think. This is what Treyarch had as their profile picture late last night, and I'm pretty sure everyone can figure this one out. This is the image for Spectre. Uh, the reasons why we know this, first of all, the katana is the big giveaway. The katana is going to be Spectre's weapon of choice, his specialist weapon, if you will. We actually got to see this in the trailer. We saw many shots with him using it, carrying it, seeing it on his back, so we know that that's his weapon. The flames around the skull, I don't think are actually flames. I think that's supposed to be smoke. Hence why his other ability is throwing a smoke grenade, once again, that we got to see in the cutscene. Now, the final thing and most interesting thing that I took away from this image is the actual skull. Now, if you know anything about anatomy, there's a big part missing from this skull known as the mandible. In other words, the bottom jaw. Who do we know that does not have a bottom jaw? Jessica 
Mason Green. Just another reason why I still believe that she is Spectre. Now, I haven't talked about this in a while, and I have many videos talking about it, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about here, um, this is just more evidence to support the fact that Spectre, who we have no identification from, is Jessica Mason Green, one of the main characters from the Specialist Headquarters in Black Ops 4. And the final teaser we have to talk about is the werewolf. The werewolf in this image that Treyarch uploaded to their profile picture today. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is the werewolf from Dead of the Night and Zombies, and it's an interesting one because... If you're wondering the location of this, it appears to be in the greenhouse on the map Dead of the Night, looking towards the main building. The only reason why I know this is thanks to my friend the Lucario Project, who also got me this image that very closely represents the background behind the werewolf, as you can see by the exact same railing, exact same background, very similar between the two images. So the question is, why are they showing this to us? This map already exists within the game, so what are they teasing? Most likely, this is going to be the Dead of the Night gauntlet. It's probably going to come out on Tuesday. That is just what I am assuming. Uh, this makes sense because a lot of people assume that this was coming out during Operation Grand Heist, like the Mini-14, like Misty, which are all coming out this Tuesday. So assumably this will be the gauntlet as well now the weird part about this is they have never teased a gauntlet in this way they haven't hyped it up put out images revolving around it so it's a little bit odd in fact when i first saw this image i thought it was going to be the werewolf coming to alcatraz in blackout kind of like the blight father did with the normal blackout map so I doubt that at this point, but it's an interesting idea, and to me, it's the only idea that explains why they would hype it up like this, but once again, I think there's a pretty low chance of that. Now, the last thing I wanted to point out was that Treyarch has announced that on Monday, April 29th, in other words, this Monday, at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so 3 p.m. Eastern, um, they are doing a live stream with a bunch of the developers, and they've kind of announced some of the things that they are going to be talking about. So the first thing is new multiplayer map gameplay, so we kind of already have seen a little bit from those, and we're going to be getting gameplay on Monday. The second thing is new zombies gauntlet footage and new feature info, so assumably some new perks or something like that coming to zombies. Third thing is League Play update. Don't really know what's going to change there, but we'll have to find out on Monday. And then some upcoming Blackout editions and more. The more, I would assume, is new weapons, what's coming to the black market, that kind of stuff. And Blackout editions, we haven't really got clued in too much other than possibly Hydro Dam actually blowing up. So I thought for the end of the video, let's just talk about everything that we know is going to be coming on Tuesday. And then we can compare that to what they actually talk about in the live stream Monday. So first things first, we know this is coming Spectre. We know Spectre is coming. We saw her or him in a cutscene, and we know that is coming on Tuesday for sure. Strike from the Shadows appears to be the name of the new event that is coming. And on top of that, from that same cutscene, we think that something is going to happen to Hydra Dam. Whether it's just damage or destroyed completely, we don't know. All we know is as of right now, Spectre has placed a bunch of C4 on there. So we'll have to wait to see what happens with that. On top of that, Treyarch has announced that we will be getting three new multiplayer maps before the end of April, so on Tuesday. Now, whether one of these includes WMD or not, we're not 100% sure. Also, we know that on this laptop, there were three different images showing. We thought that they were going to be multiplayer maps, but they also could be blackout areas. I'm still guessing that they have to do with the multiplayer maps, but we'll have to wait and see. On top of that, we now know that we are getting the Dead of the Night gauntlet that will be coming, I'm assuming, on Tuesday. And then finally, after that, the Black Market. We know we're going to get an update to the Black Market contraband stream and stuff like that. And we at least know that one of the weapons that is coming is a sniper rifle, aka the Mini-14 or Vendetta, whatever you want to call it. We know that all of those things are going to be coming. On top of that, they have also announced that Prop Hunt and misty are going to be coming on tuesday as well that is everything that we know so far and that is what we know is coming on tuesday as i mentioned we are also going to find things out in the live stream on monday and of course i will keep you guys updated on that so if you want to stay up to date on everything call of duty make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you have notifications on as that's the best way to stay up to date on all my videos on top of that, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could hit that like button and let me know down in the comments what you're most excited for. Are you frustrated about WMD? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. Listen.